So I'm making this video based on the Biostar B450 MH motherboard to flash to update the BIOS. As you can see, I just put in there in Google, Biostar B450 MH BIOS update, and it'll bring you to their website. And then you just go to download, and here you can see it has a very recent BIOS update of less than two months ago. So, I flip PCs, and when I sell them, I always try to put the most current, most recent BIOS on there, so that whoever purchases them, you know, if they decide to upgrade down the line, it's got all the security protocols, everything that would, you would just click file, it'll download, it'll go into your download folder, then you put it to a flash drive. I'll move on to the PC I'm going to flash next. Okay, this is the computer that we're gonna flash. Again, uh, Biostar B450MH. Before you flash your BIOS, the one thing I would suggest everybody do is go down to your, to your search bar. This is Windows 11 Pro. Type in MSI Info 32. Look up the the properties of your motherboard and, and your boot drive. You want to be in UEFI, especially on Windows 11, UEFI, which means that the boot drive is partitioned to GPT, not MBR. If you have upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you might be in MBR. And that's not going to allow you to run a UEFI boot which allows you to run secure boot. MBR will not allow you to do that. You need to be in GPT. There are ways to convert from MBR to GPT. I'm sure you can find another video on that. But before you flash your BIOS, I would strongly suggest you check this and make sure you're in UEFI, ready to go Windows 11. Again, like I said, if you boot it, or if you uh, upgrade it from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you might be in MBR. And depending on the age of your computer and some of these, uh, these pre-built companies that are selling these pre-built, they're selling older hardware and they're using a workaround to get Windows 11 to work on there when they don't support TPM or UEFI. You, you want to know that you're in UEFI before you start messing around in a BIOS and making changes that can black screen your computer. And... Watch this whole video. Just don't watch the sections that you think apply to you. Watch the whole video so that you understand what's going on and how to do it. Okay, so I've downloaded my BIOS. I've put it on a USB flash drive. Uh, I showed you in that first segment how to find it. Like I said, I just put in Google the motherboard and BIOS update, and boom, their site come up. I have the new BIOS on this flash drive. Now we're going to flash this BIOS. Okay, so now we're back into the BIOS of the BIOSTAR motherboard. The one thing I do kind of like about this, it has a safety setup in here so that you don't accidentally flash a BIOS to this. I don't know how you would accidentally do that, but I guess for the uneducated people that are not used to doing this, it has a safety protocol in it so you don't accidentally flash a BIOS to it. You have to go into the BIOS, select boot. See right there, it says bio flash protection. I currently have it disabled on this. You enable it, it'll, it default it is enabled. When it is enabled, you cannot flash a BIOS to it. Disable it, go to save changes and reset. After you do so, reboot the card or reboot the computer, go back into the BIOS, ensure that it is now disabled. That will allow you to flash a new BIOS to this motherboard. Okay, so now you've come back to the BIOS. We're gonna go back over here and make sure it is disabled. Now it will, again, like I said, it will allow me to flash a BIOS to this board. You hit F12 in the BIOS. 
the BioStar Buyer Flasher Utility will come up. Now you select your BIOS. There it is right there. We're gonna flash a new BIOS. This will take a couple minutes, so I'll probably, this is probably one of, the, and I wanna reiterate this, this is probably one of the most dangerous things that you can do to your computer. Uh, I have had BIOS failures before, depending on the manufacturer of the board, you may be able to resume that. Uh, some boards, if the, if the BIOS flash goes bad, you lose power, something goes wrong, you've just bricked your board. There's no fixing it other than to re replace that BIOS chip. So this is one of the most dangerous things you can do to your computer is flashing the BIOS, but the benefits are great because it will add more CPUs that the, bio, or the motherboard will support safety protocols, etc. It's a necessary evil, but just know if something goes wrong, you may have bricked your computer. I'll come back after this. Like this is probably going to take four or five minutes. Okay, I'm just popping this in here as, as it's flashing. Um, so far, it looks successful. Hopefully, we don't have a power failure. Uh, I should have a UPS, universal power supply, as many computers as I've flashed the BIOS to. But right now, it's writing the new BIOS to the motherboard, to the chip on the board. And when it completes, I'll have the new BIOS on here. I'll throw this in here while it's still updating. Uh, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. Uh, you think Microsoft has monopoly? There's only one company that makes BIOSes for computers. Now it's deleting the old BIOS and upgrading to the new one. When it gets all the way green, we'll be done. Okay, firing it back up because it's just about to finish. Boom! New BIOS. Uh, this is the most current, current BIOS on this system. We're going to let the computer reboot. It'll probably take it a couple seconds longer now because it's got a new BIOS on here. You may have to redo all your settings now that you flashed a new BIOS. The last one I did with this, it actually booted up and it retained uh, secure boot and all that. I didn't have to mess with anything. It was already on there. Okay, thing. I'm, I'm going to let this run because, like I said, it's reading the new BIOS now that I have rebooted to it. And that generally takes a little bit longer than a normal boot up. I'm still mashing the delete key so that I can get into the BIOS and the lights on my uh, keyboard have yet to light up so it's not reading yet. Any day now. Like I said, when you, when you flash the BIOS and you uh, reboot the computer, it generally takes a little bit longer because everything's resetting. And I have a, a R, RGB keyboard here and I know that the board is not reading yet because there's no lights on the RGB keyboard. Any day now. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Okay, so I had to turn the computer off. Now I'm turning it back on. I hope there wasn't and should, oh, there we go. The keyboard just lit up. There we go. It should be going into the BIOS now. Now it's resetting. It's going to read the new BIOS and reboot. The keyboard did light up. Keyboard just lit up again. I'm mashing the delete key. And there we go. We now have the most current BIOS. It's only two months old. And I now have the most current BIOS on here. Let's go in and make sure it retained. This one retained my settings. A lot of times you see security boot is still enabled. So now this is flashed with a new BIOS. Uh, like I said, the benefits of the new BIOS, it will accept all the most current CPUs, all the safety protocols. If there are any AMD updates, if there are any was like hacks, endurons to get into your BIOS, uh, a BIOS virus. Generally, the manufacturers, they come up with a BIOS flash to upgrade that so that that doesn't happen to you. This is now flashed and good to go. Okay, the first time 
you do this, this is going to come up. Oh, you're going to want to go in and save and exit this so that that AMI screen, that's who makes BIOS is AMI, that company. You want to go in there and reset that, tell it to save and change. All your new BIOS settings will now be saved and it should skip that screen now. This is kind of a weird BIOS. It's a little different than a lot of the other ones I've done. See, now it's skipping that screen and it's gonna boot right into Windows. There we go, there's the little whirly circle. But the first time, you, you, you need to go in and save and change after you flash that BIOS or that screen's gonna keep popping up. Once you save and change, it'll skip that screen. You don't need it anymore. Okay, computer's updated, new BIOS. Let's go into hardware info and double confirm it, although I know it's on there because of uh, looking in the BIOS itself. There we go. BIOS date, 626-2025. Can't beat that. Two months old, brand new BIOS. Like we said, when I buy or build and sell a computer, I like to make sure that I put the most current BIOS on there. So that if the customer decides to upgrade down the line, like put a better processor, like this has a Ryzen 5 3600 in there. Uh, there is still upgrade path in this computer. Not a whole lot, but you could go to like do a 5600X or something like that and get a little bit better performance. And I know that this computer will be ready to do that because it has the most recent BIOS out there. Oh, and again, in searching the internet and YouTube, I couldn't find any videos uh, telling me how to flash this BIOS. I kind of had to, had to muddle through it and figure it out myself. Uh, the instructions on the BIOS store website were kind of unclear. So I just kind of muddled through it and figured it out. This is how you flash. I imagine it's probably the same for all. Don't say I'm saying that for 100% certainty because uh, this is the only BioStar boards I have had. But I'm sure their BIOS is pretty similar across the whole spectrum of what they do. And this is how you do it.